Hi, my name is Yasu. I'm from Japan, and in my video, I do hito ryoto, which means、uh, talking to myself in Japanese. So, I share my life and experience in my channel for whatever reasons that I haven't really thought about why. But anyway, so、um, mainly I've been talking about like. What is going on with me about in terms of、uh, dealing with my depressions, antidepressants,、uh, sleeping pills, and then also male menopause, which is super low testosterone, and then so on. I, I just simply got so much health issues since last year. And then every time I post,、um, people really、uh, support me and they give me encouragement. As well as they ask me certain questions, and then I'm really more than happy to answer as much as possible. It helps me in a way, and it helps me to feel、um, whatever I'm going through is not wasting my time. So、uh, today I want to answer to the question, which is that、um, yes,、yeah, so、when you take、uh, Effexor and Venla vaccine,、uh, do you experience? Uh, sexual dysfunction, which is one of the、uh, side effects、uh, for Effexor,、uh, by Effexor and Venla vaccine, and then also the question was that does it get actually better as time goes by? And then the answer is, I think so, but I'm not quite sure. In my case, um, because. Um, I started doing the treatment for my depressions, and I started taking the effexors, and also dealing with my sleeping issues by taking sleeping pills and everything. But also, like almost like within a seven days period, I was also diagnosed as male menopause. Basically, when the doctor ran my blood test, they found out that I only have little. Testosterone, which is male hormone in my system, to the level of eighty years old, which shouldn't happen. And right away, they recommended me to do the、uh, testosterone replacement therapy. So I started taking the、uh, injection of、uh, testosterone since then. So everything has happened simultaneously. I've been receiving all of those treatments for different conditions. Almost simultaneously,、um, and but in terms of getting the testosterone replacement therapy, that should supposed to help me to feel more, to regain my libido and then those sexual functions and everything. But one more complicated situation is that two months before I went through major surgery and everything,、uh, they put me in the general anesthesia and I was hospitalized for seven days and they cut me open here like twenty centimeter to remove the、uh, tumors. It it ends、uh, ended up not being a cancer, which is a good thing. However, since two thousand twenty two. I had done so many、uh, examinations and everything. So, when the doctors asked me, "Didn't you feel weird or like any sexual feelings or anything before you did the blood test for testosterone?" And then I told my doctors that I don't know because I was so busy dealing with this. Two more. Try to find out what's going on. So, and that's why I couldn't really give you any clear answers whether I had sexual dysfunction because of effects or not. But the, to the second question, does it get improved? I think more or less yes. But I'm not sure it's because my body got used to effects of venlafaxine vaccine, or because of the、uh, testosterone replacement therapy has helped me or not. That's the question. 
But in general, right now, I've been taking Effexor and then doing the uh, testosterone replacement therapy in the last eight months. And uh, I can feel the libido time to time uh, momentarily and then more frequently but it just simply doesn't last so um, I want to talk about a little bit more in detail so if you don't like that kind of topic uh, please do not watch from here so um, w when when I wake up nowadays of course um, my pe penis is hard which is a good thing um, and then I feel libido time to time, but it just simply doesn't last long enough for me to engage in any sexual activities with anybody. And because my main primary focus is to deal with my depressions and everything, that part, I was like, that's not my priority, just forget about it. Because, um, Ever since I started taking infections and then sleeping pills, and I think mainly because of the uh, testosterone injections, uh, it has damaged my liver, and I just simply don't want to take any more medications to uh, damage my body, uh, because otherwise it's just going to get more complicated. And in terms of the uh, how long uh, my penis can stay hard <laughs> i don't know the more medical terminologies um i think it cannot be as hard as it used to be but again i'm not sure i cannot really remember how it was before but one thing that i can say for sure is that uh, it takes longer for me to ejaculate and then it takes difficult it is difficult for me to ejaculate compared to before. That's for sure that I can tell. But that's as much that as much as I can actually say because of the very complicated situations that I am in. But one thing that I can really say is that um, how our bodies would respond to that even same medications really different so if anything I think the person who gave me the questions I suppose that uh, he or she t takes probably he I'm not sure but it, let's say the person takes the effects of venlafaxine and then the person's experiencing their sexual dysfunctions if that's the case for you for anybody um, please Con you just talk to your physician doctor and then tell your doctors that what you're going through, what is your concern, and how you want to improve the situations. Because um, if you hold it to yourself, do nothing, and even thinking about it, that means you care about that situation, so that dysfunctions, and then also what's going to happen to you in the future, does it get improved or not? And then also that might put you in some kind of uh, unpleasant situations based on your social or uh, people con yeah, so social context. And that's, that's bad. That's something that you shouldn't experience. So if situation would allow you, I really recommend you to talk to your doctor and then they can really give you some options. In my case, it's just that too many things going on at the same time and then the blood test shows that my liver has been damaged and then I had to make a choice about how to prioritize what to deal with first and then I just simply gave up on that sexual dysfunction part. I can deal with it probably later on, not right now, because right now the major things that I really want to focus is on my depressions and then sleep issues. I really, really don't want to suffer from insomnia anymore. Anyway, I hope 
that's not too much information. And I hope somehow that gives you guys some kind of directions. But as always, uh, I really don't want you to go through the same situations that I'm going through. So please do not forget to uh, look after yourself, take care of yourself, and then prioritize your health the most always. Because if you have some health issues and you have to really deal with it, then you really don't get to enjoy your life. And also, uh, it's going to become harder for you to keep good relationship with the people whom you love. And if that becomes the issue, then it's just all the more issues just piling up and then nothing gets to the right directions. So before it gets worse, it gets bad. Dumb, how do I say? Nothing is important than health. I think that's what I want to say. So please take care of yourself and thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching my video. And then if it's okay with you, please follow my channel. No, subscribe to my channel. I think that's it for now. Jane, bye bye.